thanks for stopping by for another video and if you're new here welcome my name is stephanie and for today's video i am planning in my weekly hemlock note planner and i thought that i would use the spring vibe sticker book from plan anything i also have this luxe spring sticker book from live love posh my grid washi and of course i have my simply smith script stickers all of the shops will be linked down in the description box below so you guys can check them out and possibly even save some money on your orders so let's go ahead and move these off to the side for now because we are officially in spring and so yeah this is gonna be the perfect sticker book and i thought that i would pair it with this one so as far as the spring vibe sticker book i thought that i would use this beautiful page right here i am just loving all of the flowers and all of the elements i think it is so pretty and so i thought that i would pair this page with these beautiful flowers from Live Love Posh. So as you can see, I went ahead and used this page in my Happy Planner Skinny Mini, but I do have the second page. And I just thought that these paired so well together. So I kind of want to combine these two. So hopefully it turns out just the way that I am thinking. And so I think that I might start over here with this one and i usually decorate like this corner right here with a corner flower sticker um for the most part but i think that i want to use this one right here i just really love it i love how like the flowers are kind of sticky now we also have that beautiful butterfly and the leaves and it is just so beautiful so what i am thinking about doing is um, kind of placing this in between both of the pages. So I rarely do that. But I thought that it would look really pretty. So maybe like right about here. Yeah, I think I really like that. And I don't think that I want to cut off too much of the sticker. So I'm going to lay this side first. And then I want to grab my washi cutter and kind of um press this down here on the spine and then simply continue to lay it down okay so yeah i think that looks amazing so we are off to a great start and i'll worry about cutting the edges in a little bit and so now let's go back to the very back of the sticker book and maybe grab some of these boxes so we have like the purples, the blues, the like magenta color. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and maybe use like, I am trying, I'm looking at this one. So it has like pink and purple. So maybe we could use this blue color because I think that I want to pair it with the window. I think that would look really pretty. So let's actually go ahead and grab it. That way we can see how it'll turn out. So maybe something like this. So yeah. Okay, so I think that looks amazing. And then I think that I want to go ahead and place maybe this grid washi down here at the bottom. I think it's going to look cute. And so we are having amazing weather this week and I am not complaining. It feels so good to just go out and enjoy the, the sunlight and um, the sun and yeah, it just feels amazing. So I am just ready to kind of get out of the house a little bit because with cold weather and kids, it's sometimes just difficult especially when they're like smaller because they do tend to get sick pretty often and so yeah the least that we go outside the better i was kind of thinking of maybe doing like maybe the door here on the spine as well or maybe like this light rail over here hmm i don't know okay let's see let me see about this door so we could maybe place it right here that could be kind of cute right and let's go ahead and grab this one too just so we can get 
a feel for it. So, oh, I think I like this one. Yeah, I think I like it so much better than the door right over here. So let's kind of scoot it a little bit towards the left. Okay, so yeah, that looks amazing. And as far as the door, did I want to do it here on the spine? So let's go ahead and maybe grab the purple, right? Because this is like pinkish. Okay. So let's go over here for that purple box. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use the smaller one, especially because we use the bigger one right over there. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe something like this. Or how about we just kind of layer these two then? Instead of having the door over there? Um, okay. Yeah, I changed my mind. Let's go ahead and lay it down right in there. And then this one can simply, um, yeah, just lay right on top of it. Okay, so not too bad, right? I think I really like that. And now, let's see. Okay, so I managed to get my scissors to make their way down back down here because... Yeah, I didn't have it for the last video because we were busy this weekend. And so I went ahead and grabbed it and it didn't make it back. But they are here now. And so let's just trim off just all of this little bit. I think that should be good. And then just this little bit over here. Okay. Yeah, and then next week, the temperatures are supposed to go down, so we have to take advantage of these next few days, especially because my kids love being outdoors. We actually have a about a five-acre property, and of course, they're out and about um, riding their motorcycles, their dirt bikes, just running around, and they have so much fun. And so, yeah, there is never a dull moment around here. Okay, so yeah, I think that looks amazing. And then, how about we maybe use one of these cute little boxes. I don't know, I feel like kind of putting it maybe like right in here. Or over here. No, I think I like it right about here okay and then did i want to maybe use the bicycle for some reason i just really love the way that this one looks right there so i think that i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it alone so let's go back over here and i think that we did have maybe like a corner piece or yeah so like this one right here or actually i think i might just use like this smaller one i don't think that i want it too like big and i actually want to also use it like here in the middle especially because we already have this one right there i think this one would look really pretty just kind of hanging out right up here okay so yeah, that looks good. And let's see, let's go back to the boxes. Where are the boxes? Right over here. And let's kind of create a little cluster. So let's see. Okay, so we haven't used this magenta color. All right, so let's maybe lay this one down like this. And then let's go ahead and grab a blue one as well. Did I want to do the bigger one or maybe a smaller one? Um, let me see. Do we have a big one in the purple? Okay, so we do. So yeah, let's go ahead and use all big boxes, especially because the right hand side has like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as opposed to just Monday through Wednesday. So let's do this color first. Um, did I want to do that? Or how did I want to do it? Okay. So. 
Okay, maybe we can lay this one down like this, especially because the blue one is already vertical. And then maybe the purple one could go like that. Okay, yeah, we're going to do like a whole little staircase situation. I just have to get these done as straight as I can first. Okay, so there's that. And then maybe this one could go like that. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, right about there. Perfect. So, yeah, I love using boxes here in my Hemlock and Oak Planner. I just feel like they, um, they fill up the space so much better. And they're decorative and they're functional and they're just pretty at the same time. So, I really like that. So, maybe let's see about using this little house maybe like right on top of here oh my gosh that it looks so pretty oh yeah i love that and then let's go ahead and look at those quotes because we have like let spring begin swing into spring springtime oh actually i used that one um in my go get a girl planner so let's see what else we have to work with spring is in the air um hello spring did i use that one no i was going to use it and then i ended up using the other one springtime and so i would have the other one but actually my daughter came into my space her usual and grabbed it so i am gonna have to use this one and so yeah maybe right about there so let's maybe quickly place this one right there did i want to quote over here i don't think so so i think what i am gonna finish it off with is going to be these cute little butterflies. And maybe that's what this little side needs. Are you guys surprised that I'm going to be using a butterfly? Oh my gosh. I am not. <laughs> because I have been using them like a crazy person lately. Um, But yeah, I am just simply obsessed with butterflies right now. Um, Okay, I don't want to go too high just because... That is where I place my, what is it? My, the weather. So, let me see. I feel like I need one going that way. So, yeah, this one is going to be better. And this one is a little bit too big as well. So, uh, maybe we can have this one right over here. Kind of like in the spine and then i want to use this smaller one and then this one could be kind of going on this side okay so yeah that definitely filled up that little area a little bit better um and then maybe this one could go right over here okay and then we can have this cute little small one kind of doing its own little thing over here by the window. Perfect. And yeah, I think that might, that might be it. Okay, so let's go ahead and kind of finish it off with the script stickers. And then look at how it just kind of transforms the boxes and the space. I don't know what it is, but I love finishing things off with a script sticker. So that one's going to go there. Don't, yeah, like night and day, right? Okay, so then this one. Oh, I actually think that I wanted to maybe add a butterfly right here. Okay, I think I'm going to go back and look at that one because as soon as I saw that, I wanted to do that. So before I forget, I want to go back. So this one is actually going to go right in there. 
Okay, so that looks amazing. And okay, yeah. So a cute little butterfly. Let's see. Okay, so we do have this one because we don't have um smaller like flowers or anything like that. So this one can simply go, yeah, right in here. Doesn't that just look so good? Yeah, I definitely think so. So let's go ahead and do that. And of course, I want to go ahead and finish off the spread by adding the cute little trails for the butterflies. So maybe we can have this one kind of going like that. And then this one kind of doing that. Mm, okay, so maybe this one is going to kind of create a cute little loop like that and i know these ones are attached but i am kind of thinking that i want to do something like right in here perfect and then this one could kind of trail off maybe like this way okay so yeah i think this looks so pretty i love the way that everything just kind of like came together especially because i was using two separate sticker books and i usually tend to stick to like that one sticker book or that one kit or like that one theme and so i was a bit nervous about combining these two sticker books but i think that it turned out amazing i really really love it and actually let's go ahead and add just a quick little trail over here okay so yeah Oh my gosh, I really, really love this. I think everything just came together so well. And hopefully you guys are having amazing weather as well. And make sure that you guys check out the links down in the description box below so you guys can possibly save some money on your order. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me over on Instagram at Stephanie Happily Plans. And I'll see you next time.